I'll never ever be ready for any of this ever again. I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm. Uh, hey, everybody! Welcome back to Mom. Can I have another dollar? We're starting our fourth recording session, sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're. We congregated in Nashville, Tennessee to resume our dark craft, but guess who's not here? Yep, of course. Well, it's <laughs> interesting because we didn't we come here specifically to make this easier on Nick? Oh boy, let me tell you how this has gone. Hold on, let me just put my quarters in first and then we'll yeah. get to we'll get to we'll get to that little episode first. Yeah, so let you go. Death date joke go. Dude, I just played this game IRL. Mm -hmm. Like, I was at Fun Spot in Laconia, New Hampshire, where that nerd beat Pac-Man. Yeah. And uh, and I had this machine. They also had a fucking Iron Horse. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that was cool. Anyways, so anyway, let's let's talk about what's been happening. We I just got in this morning. We both, me and Kyle, both woke up at the crack of fucking dawn to get our asses from our respective like we imprisonments. Weren't, yeah, we weren't in the same area. Like, I was in Florida, and uh, Keith was in Massachusetts. Good old Massachusetts. So Kyle drove, I flew, but we both had to get up at, like, 0 o'clock in the morning in order to do this. And we got here. And Nick, well, to, to, to his credit, only, like, within the last 24 hours did he get told by his job that he needs to pack up and, and like, go to the other side of the state or someplace in order to do some kind of a music video shoot or whatever the hell it is he's doing. Yeah. Um, Nick is in the, uh, he's in his own band now. He's, uh, <laughs> is the very, the, the first. He's in the ephemeral music business that's the, constantly changing. The and first evolving. openly all gay male orchestra other than the village people. No, I think there's several gay orchestras. Whatever, you know what I mean. I'm trying to, I'm razzing him in an anachronistic way. Well, yeah, it's, no I mean, it's it's easy when he can't defend himself. So. Well, I mean, no one cares about being gay anymore. It's yeah, cool. that's true. Everyone likes it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I talk about smoking cocks here on the show with regularity. You do. It's pretty It's pretty uh, frequent, in fact. It's pretty cool that, you know, yeah, well, there's no problem. Anyway, so, so the problem is we're both running off of, like, four hours of sleep. Yeah. We're trying to do our goddamn dose of the show, and uh, Nick's not here. <laughs> oh, but, you know what? That would be good enough. But I got into the airport this morning, right? Let me tell you. You were there. Well, you <laughs> well, were there. No, what's best, what's best is like, uh, so we planned like the date specifically three months. And I'm like riding Keith's ass the entire time. I'm Because Keith is notorious for like <laughs> fucking the whole situation up. So this is kind I of am? A, yeah, you are. This is like kind of a first uh, sit time situation where like <laughs> you legitimately like have oh, done right. everything within your power. To do, like, be on time what and be I, in the right uh, what place. What I was asked to do, yeah. Okay, yeah. now I know what you mean. Like, normally it's just like, okay, we're going to try to congregate on this day, and then you show up two days later. <laughs> that happened once? It's happened a few times. I don't recall, but, but anyway. So anyway, so Keith uh, Keith is just like, so, uh, hey, someone's going to come pick my ass up at the airport at 920, right? Yeah. And then, uh, then he goes, presumably, onto his flight, because he doesn't respond for the next few hours, and then Nick's like, I'm, uh, I'm not going to be home for uh, <laughs> yeah. until tomorrow night and my girlfriend's at work <laughs> yeah and then he and then Keith lands and she's like so what am I supposed to do no I was like okay fair enough I can just get myself uh, an Uber or something but then it's like yeah no Nick's like well you'll have to get an Uber to my place I'm like okay I, so your place is unlocked no <laughs> I'm like I just like throw my hands up there on the airport like well Nick <laughs> it would seem the Uber would not really help me much at all anyway <laughs> even if I rented my own car I wouldn't really be able to do anything about it. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? You just get a car and park it. Yeah. <laughs> just anywhere. Well, like, well, this might as well be Nick's apartment because it doesn't fucking matter right now. Fuck! Uh, anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said when I found it. So, yeah, that, that was astonishing. It's like just Nick Nick was not prepared for company. <laughs> <laughs> no. And he wasn't prepared to host or do anything about it. It was, I mean, it was a last second change, but also it's like... I don't know. How does your human brain not register the logic of that sentence like mid mid type and say, "Oh right, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that can't work." Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the key he left us was inside of his apartment. Yeah. Well, I think what's the funniest thing about this is like right now as we're talking shit about him, uh, his girlfriend is in the other room, just presumably listening to everything we're saying. Fuck! I couldn't do anything about that. <laughs> well, anyways, no. The funniest thing about it is he is dead, and we can't. <laughs> He can't defend himself. Yeah, never... actually, uh, in all honesty, uh, we keep talking about Nick as if he's done all these terrible things, but we're all here gathered in Tennessee for his funeral. Yeah. So, uh, 
he died uh, whatever day the day after day before this came out. So oh sweet July September I don't know. It's yeah, hard man. to project that far out. Between between having only four hours of sleep and the the emotional turmoil I've been subject to for this entire day, I think we needed a needed to break the ice with a nice easy easy situation. That's Definitely. why we got us Pac Mania going. Yep. Oh man. And, and of course, because I drove through fucking Georgia again, I almost died. Oh, right. Like uh, my life flashed before me once Fuck. again. Yeah, apparently Georgia's not a great place to be on the road. No, like, it's just my luck, I think, is the problem. But, uh, oh, yeah, this time a giant piece of sheet metal didn't come for No, instead it was a car, like, tried to, cu like, cut me off, like, right in oh, front of man. me. And they, and then they were motioning for me to pull over to the side of the road, and I'm not <laughs> sure what, I don't know if, like, they were just saying, like, get over, or... Is that it, what Georgia cops are like? Just unmarked cars? With yeah, but, like, they were in there. front of me, which is the weird part. <laughs> and they cut me off. I don't know, man. I have no idea what it was all about. Maybe they're time cops, and they're pulling you over for a, co a crime you haven't committed yet. Yeah. Like oh, uh, that shitty Tom... Tom <laughs> that Hanks shitty movie? Tom. Ooh. <laughs> and that's not Tom Hanks. Oh, did you see that? That was some fancy fucking jumping. So, oh, speaking of Tom Hanks, you know it's kind of crazy? Uh, Tom this Hanks? Is, yes. No, not Tom Hanks. Mel Gibson? <laughs> no. Uh, my, uh, my girlfriend... Fuck! ...actually does not like Tom Hanks. She's the only person I've ever met that doesn't like him. I have no strong opinion on the man. But nobody dislikes him. That's I the weird part about guess. it. Yes. Yeah, no one's ever, except for her, no one's ever been like, I hate Tom Hanks. Oh, she actively hates him. Yeah, she doesn't like him. Are you well, actually putting your real initials in there? I've done it a thousand times on the show anyway. No, I'm not done. Don't worry, don't worry. We're, we're, I want to <laughs> see if I can't make it past the jungly steps. That's like my goal. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Shit. All Wait, right. does this start you over from the very beginning? No. Pick me up right on the map that I was at. Oh, okay. That's not cool. on Blocktown. This one's, uh... I I used to play this game. This is one of the first games I had on uh, Sega Genesis. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Look at this nightmare. So... Fuck! The uh, difference between this and regular Pac-Man is not just the isometric uh, vision. Yeah, they it. added the bouncy gimmick. No, the, the Genesis version's way better, though, personally. Why is that? I, I don't know, the controls are like tighter and the graphics are nicer and the, and the sound quality is better. Really? The Genesis console version actually looks better than the arcade version? Yeah, weird. That I is... Don't... That's literally unbelievable. In fact, I don't believe Oh, it. what the hell happened? Also, the controls are better on a D-pad. So, what you did was you uh, you moved your Pac-Man right into I wanted to go fucking straight. Well, Ugh. I mean, Keith, now is not the time to try to pray away the gay. But, I mean, oh, if you want to put it, hey, do yo, it now. Kyle, Kyle, it's look, fine. this isn't the episode for that, all right? This is the episode <laughs> for getting on Nick's shit. Nick, yeah. Nick's shits. Nick's shits. I mean, Lip like, shits. we talked about it too much before we started the episode, so it's yeah, like... Yeah, I know. I kind of forgot all the funny things we were going to say. <laughs> we were just busting his ass the whole time, but no. <laughs> it, no, oh. it continued, because after we got here and got all settled, it took hours of waiting at a Starbucks before his girlfriend had a lunch break and could rescue us. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which is which is funny because it's like now it's her problem. <laughs> <laughs> <it's> Solely. Like... <laughs> well, like the other thing too is uh, we got. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he tried shit? to fuck you. Ooh, tried but failed. Okay, so anyways, the um. Fuck. Fuck! Are you kidding me? I was behind him. No, you were on top. Of no. Him. Anyways, I watched that. Yeah, happen. this game's hard as shit, dude. Uh, hold on. Okay, so like. The trubs is, the trubs here, is we got in, we finally established ourselves, and we opened up his fridge, and he's got, like, nothing but bottles of ketchup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no, no toilet paper. No food but ketchup. And <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we went food shopping, and we had to be hold really on, Hold on, hold on. I don't think we sold it hard enough. Like, he literally has three <laughs> bottles of ketchup. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like... like I decided he's like the he's a it's like Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, he's like the the <laughs> alien that instead of sugar water he's got ketchup water. Ketchup water. <laughs> yeah. Ketchup water. You said that earlier and I laughed at it for like forty five minutes. Yeah, you did. For some reason, I don't know <laughs> he why. He kept he kept just like we'd be doing something else and then you just go ketchup water. <laughs> oh no. Okay. The problem is. You you also took <laughs> you forgot your fucking laptop. Oh yeah yeah. Of Pro course. tools on it. Man, yeah. this uh, this this session is fucking cursed. It yeah. is number four, which is bad luck in Asian culture. Which That's we, true. 
That's uh, that's actually really true. Like instead of uh, the number thirteen, like you know how in like buildings, most buildings in the United States, like they don't have a floor thirteen. Mm. In um, Asia, they have the floor thirteen, but instead they don't have a the number four, because yeah. in uh, in the Chinese characters, four equals is like similar to the character for death. Yeah. So same pronunciation seems. Oh! Same pronunciation. That's a linguist at work right there, my my fellow viewers. Fuck pronunciation. I'll give you pronunciation. I'm gonna pronounce you dead on the scene. <laughs> I rolled it that pretty well, I think. That's <laughs> that's an alright one. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Oh You're about no. to die. You're about to die again. Yeah, oh yeah, eight hundred points. Alright, hold on. We're getting to the sandbox land at the very goddamn least. Yeah. This episode will go a little bit longer. That's alright, fine, fuck it. Yeah, Funky's at play. Beware of jumping monsters. Oh <laughs> shit, they jump now. Funky's at play, alright. Just yeah. check, take a look at my junk. You'll see what's going on, funky wise. It's weird because we just played, we just watched Funky Fighters. So I hadn't seen it. Oh yeah, the first Funky Fight. Well, it's funny because it's like when we recorded that, I was in Nashville and you were not. Yeah, I was on the other side of the planet, which I will soon again be. Yeah. This, I got a. The other problem with this goddamn cursed thing is like the other day I noticed a massive fucking hole in my tooth, and now I have to. I'm stuck out in t Memphis. And now I have to... I mean, what the hell city is this? We're, uh, uh, Nashville? Nashville. Same thing. <laughs> I gotta... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I gotta get a fucking dental appointment hooked up. <laughs> gotta get them to check out my goddamn teeth and see what's up. Mm -hmm. Before I end up in Japan. I'm seriously... My friend's gonna help me... Uh, if I need my teeth drilled, we're gonna do that in Tijuana because I don't have insurance. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's exactly what's going on. I know. You've said it like four times now. I... To you, but the people at home don't know what's going on. I know. I'm, I'm saying, like, I believe it because you've said it so many times. And yep. I'm a subscriber of if somebody says the same thing multiple times, it's not annoying. It's just the truth. Yeah. Especially especially when I say I can't get enough of that Furious D. <laughs> yeah, because, like, I mean, I tell the same story pretty frequently. And, like, yeah. that's my excuse. Bitch, did I, you see I that? I got through uh, sand land. What is this level? One, one, two, three, four, five, five. It's five. Is this, is this Pop Tart Land? Oh, you're asking like what the stage itself is. Yeah. No, this is, this is like a desert uh, pyramid theme. Yeah. It looks better on the Genesis version. Look up a screenshot and you'll see that it actually kind of sells the sand theme better. I personally believe. Okay. No one cares about that though. Let's trash Nick some more. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm in his fucking ketchup obsession. Oh yeah, we had to be real careful food shopping. We, ah, we had to make sure we got enough food for us, but not so that he'd have free food when we were gone. <laughs> it was yeah, so we couldn't get things like peanut butter and jelly. I don't want to bother with another name. Hold on, I think I have one more cred. Do you? Yeah, this is the last cred. All right. I'm gonna see if I can't get to jungly steps. I'm gonna see if I can't get to the jungly steps, Kyle. I think he's out working on uh uh. Tim McGraw song. Like uh, he's personally writing the it. The Crime for him. Dog? What? Tim McGraw, The Crime Dog? No, that's McGruff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if that's what Tim he was McGruff. working on, like some fucking school PSA thing about drugs. Yeah. I'm and McGruff, it, The Crime Dog. Yeah, it's like some rap. Like some. some you better watch out, it's McGruff. It's some and inept tough. attempt at relating to kids from 1992, and somehow yeah. Nick's stuck working on it. Yeah, like for whatever reason, like it's just they decided arbitrarily. It's like, you know what? I miss the 90s. Let's talk more about the 90s. You know what? The 90s really had nailed down. Fuck. Yeah, they got the fuck. <laughs> they had the fuck completely. No, done. I mean like done just somebody, death. some some boardroom decision somewhere. Like, yeah, we need to make an anti-drug PSA. Uh, yeah, like like their CEO just came out of a 30-year coma. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like, the war on drugs is still a thing, right? And they're like, uh, well, sort of. It's sort of on its death rattle. And, and then someone just goes, well, I mean, like, retro stuff oh, is... Oh, shit! Fuck! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that was a really long death animation for some reason. No! Did you see how close I was to victory? No. Oh, no, no, no! Fuck! I keep going... Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? I don't know. You lost video for like Oh, you know what it is? Uh, for some reason, like the uh, I think the AC is on the same circuit as the TV. Ah, oh, damn. So every time it turns on, 
it uh, <laughs> it trips the the circuit that the yeah, TV's on. I get it. I get you. So that's kind of funny. I'm picking up what you're putting down. It's not yeah. funny. It's disastrous. Could anything else fuck us on this damn session? Yeah. We're trying to make Let's Plays. Thank you. I made it to Jungly Steps. That's what I wanted. Anyway, you, the show must go on. Yeah, we're showcasing all the levels that there's at. So this, we have something. Whoa. Are there giant ones? No, it's just a cute little movie. It's you got American scene. flags. What? You've got American flags up there, it looked like. I fucking do? What are you talking What? Like, just get, go up to the, near the top area and you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> your, your illusory American flags. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! Ooh! 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 There's a fruit target. It's funny because, like, see right there. Oh, that's their spawn point. Oh. And it's clearly the East India Trading Company flag, not the United Well, no, States. it looks like the stars and stripes. Or no, the stripes without the stars. Yeah, in other words, the East India Trading Company, like I said. <laughs> History jokes, everybody! Yay! Did you know that's actually why the Malaysian flag looks the same as ours? I thought it was just because... Oh, every fuck! Everything's fuck! just... Fuck! <laughs> well, forget any stories we had to tell. That's well, the end of no, this episode. Well, no, finish that sentence. Uh, I was gonna say everything's just derivative of oh, some right. other designer. Or another. No, that's Liberia. Anyways, yeah, I yeah. guess that's all for Pac Mania. We're we're not done trashing Nick though. Yeah, sorry this episode went long. Stop. Enjoy us next time. Oh, fuck this all. <laughs>